Hello, my crazy beautiful Verticonians. Vertico here once again for another episode of Jurassic World the Game, except it's not. Today's video is just a quick little video for a guide on how to fight aquatic creatures with non-aquatic creatures. You heard it here first. I'm going to show you how to do it in about, I'd say, three, maybe four easy steps. Before we go ahead and do that, we'll go ahead and do our race like it's a normal episode. So what I've got to do is I've got to sell two of these bad boys. The time it Nate takes you to exit full screen, like the video, re-enter full screen. So on the count of three, three, two, one, go. <laughs> one, <laughs> two. <laughs> so if you beat me, comment down below. Feel free to brag. Tell me I'm a poo-poo head, whatever. And if I beat you, let me know so I can brag too. Right. Okie dokie. Let's have a look. Uh, so, to do this, you need to make sure you've got a Monsters of the Deep at the ready. As you can see, I do. You go in, place something expendable, such as Zinc Factor. So this is step one. You just place an expendable, low-level thing into the arena. Okay? You wait for it to load up. You wait for it to go straight to your turn. You click one attack. Now, this is the difficult part. You wait for just after the attack lands. So about there. Okay? You exit, you go straight back in, so don't even give it a break, you, you can, you can come back to this later on if you want to, you can get, get it ready for later on, and then do it later on, but anyway, you click continue, so the first time you've done it, you click continue, do it again, okay, you wait for it to land, and there we go, and you exit, you load it up again, wait for it to load, as I do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, and then you concede, okay, step one, Get something expendable. Step two, you do two battle, uh, well, two two attacks at different intervals. You attack, you quit literally as it lands, re-enter, attack again, quit as it lands, rejoin, but this time concede rather than continue, and then you go straight into the battle of your choice. So if we go ahead and go for say this one, uh, oh yeah, let's go for this one, and then uh, we just go get our tops out. So we just go ahead and go da 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 like so, and boom, you should be able to, there we go, you should see, you are straight underwater, you can do this with any creature of your choice, if you want to fight some Mosasaurus with the Indominus, recreate the scene from Jurassic World, you can, you can uh, pit anything you want, there is no type advantage, no type disadvantage, okay, so it's not like, um, sort of, you're replacing herbivore with surface, reef, nothing like that, there is no type advantage at all that i found, it's just that most of the aquatic creatures are weaker, this is also a really useful tactic for tournaments. You can have, say, one creature at the front. So, say if you're going against low-level Sphaderma in the first round, you enter it, you leave it, you quit, you redo the whole thing, and then you use that one battle for whatever you need to be at tournaments, anything, and boom, you've got an easy win. Uh, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and just finish this off. But, guys, if you have... Ooh, I won't, actually. I've been very scrub-like. <laughs> we'll just give it up. I'm really not fussed. Uh, oh, Indominus under the sea. <laughs> guys, if you are enjoying the video, or the series, I should say, make sure you drop a like down below. If you found this really useful and you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and join my crazy bit of occurrence. And if you didn't enjoy the video for whatever reason, feel free to dislike, but do tell me why. Guys, this is a really quick episode just to show you how to do this sort of a glitch. I would have called it a glitch. Hopefully, you don't fix it soon. Otherwise, this video is completely invalid. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. And ta -ra!